and welcome back everybody to another episode of Minecraft Sky Factory 4. So today, uh, got a little bit of different things to do. What I've decided to go do is, there's, I'm going to work a little bit more on our saplings. And then I'll work on a little bit more of our animal farms. But uh, I'm actually going to go in through in here and clear out a chunk of this stuff. It's not going to be everything because a lot of this stuff requires resources we just simply don't have. But uh, yeah, we're going to be able to get some stuff. So with that, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to clear out is making ourselves a pickaxe cast. Now, as you can see, I literally went through and made every single last cast I could, with the exception of the pickaxe, because, well, that's the one that gives us the, the marker. So from there, we're going to be able to turn around and start uh, upgrading our weapons just a titch. I also turned around and made the alloy tank. I think I showed this last episode, but uh, just got kind of prepped up for an alloy tank setup. You know, just in case I need to make some alloys. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and make an armor station because we're going to go through and make up some uh, far better armor. And to do that, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to turn that into an armor forge. I'm going to take our tool station and make it into a tool forge. Which was two of those quests. Uh, let's get the tool forge there and that there. I've got it laid out like this because I can still access all the different ones, but it's I'm usually going from parts to one or the other. So it just made sense having it laid out like this. Okay, next let's get our alloy tank up and running. For that, it's just a porcelain tank and two faucets that gives us an alloy tank. And that will get set right there. Now we can make alloys. I just basically duplicated a bunch of the stuff from over there for here and massively increased the lava production. So we got that done. That's another one down. Need to make a pack saw for a stone pack saw for this one here. Getting that one done. So the th this one's going to take a while because I'm going to have to really grind out the weapon for that one. And this one should be relatively easy, especially if we do this one which I actually think I might have the materials for. I made a blank cast at some point by accident. And I need more obsidian. Which should be pretty easy. And I need two more obsidian. There we go. All the obsidian I need now. Yes, I do. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, really love how the fact that games have different control schemes because I keep glitching and trying to go over one of the other ones. Uh, let's just uh, chuck that in there for now. Go over here. We're going to get our obsidian laid around, our cast. That's going to give us a reinforcement. And that's going to be difficult, because I need five levels of reinforcement. And I think I'm going to go put it on my sword. But we're going to get one other uh, advancement from this one. Because what it is, is when you look at these, you see that modifier is five? I can actually make this indestructible. I just need... Ooh. Hmm. Four more blank casts can need uh, eight lava or eight gold. Mm. 
get that in there, get that going, and I should probably put the timer back. Yeah, I kind of adjusted how things were sitting around here. Hmm. So, uh, I'll actually be right back because I'm just going to make a bunch of obsidian. Mate, just uh, quickly put one of these over here just so I can uh, speed this up a little bit as you can see. That actually works really well. So, when it comes down time for you to start making a lot of obsidian, if you haven't managed to automate it, just chucking the, cal the cauldron right beside a pool of water and torch below it mm, works well. So I got uh, actually more obsidian than I need. Or actually, I don't think I actually have enough. No, I miscalculated. So I need six more obsidian. So I need... 24 more cobblestone. That's what we needed. Get that set there. So now we've got uh, one modifier already on our sword, so that anytime it, uh, it's going to take durability loss, it's only going to lose 20% of the time, it just won't. And every level you add on increases it by 20%. So now, I have a completely unbreakable weapon. And we got ourselves uh, another advancement. Okay, so now back to trees. <laughs> so first thing first is we're getting some osmium amber. Let's get uh, that shut off. Chuck the osmium amber in there. And osmium tree needs... Uh, mineral saplings I love that thing you actually yes you are you've already done okay Let's just get two of those made. Pop this one out. And our handy dandy units are already set up, so we'll just get that going. Because I'm going to want some osmium later for uh, a bunch of my weapons and armor. Because it's actually one of the more stronger, more durable materials. Second thing is, we're going to get ourselves a glowstone sapling, so we can finally have access to glowstone. We'll get that going as well. So, now, let's uh, end stone, and he got that one done and that one done. So we're actually making very good progress here. So now, let's start looking at our age of farming and for what we need. We need parrot seed. And that's a cookie, melon seeds, and a feather. Now, I could have sworn I had some cookies kicking around somewhere. There's the feather I need. Hmm. I guess I'm going to need to make some cookies. 
so I need... really should hook these up. Seeds. Do I have melon seeds in here? Yes, I do. I have exactly one melon seed in here. That's all I need. Also, gonna need. Let's see here. Oh, well, I guess that solves that problem. I guess I don't need the wheat. Forgot I had the cookie tree. So, let's get our parrot seed. And that should now be knocked off the list. Yes. So, mm. let's actually clear this out. We'll chuck the seeds in here. Just start uh, condensing some of our stuff. Well, let's keep those. Really gonna have to figure out a better way of storage. Let's chuck that up there for now. We'll keep the files. Those can go in there. Okay. So it is wolf seed next. Let's see what we need for that. We need a bone, a sausage, and a sheep seed. Well, sausage is three cooked pork chops. Do I actually have any? Pork. Uh, doesn't look like it. So that one's going to be on hold because I need pigs first. Hmm. Do I have any more grass blocks? Yes, I do. So let's grab our exchanger. Get that done and we'll hit there, hit there, and there. Yeah, it looks like it could work nicely. thought pat that power off so we are going to need pig seeds why because well we need okay so that's a dirt acorn seeds and a carrot well we've got all that let's see let's go for four mm. Need seeds and carrots. There we go. You can go store in there. Get ourselves a bunch of pig seeds, which I believe is also one of the ones we need. So we'll chuck uh, chuck those there, and let's grab a piece of carpet and fence that area off. So let's see, we've got a carpet. Uh, it's diagonal oak fence. That's not what we need. That works. There we go. <clears throat> this. 
this is just going to be just a quick kill field. I grow them in here just to off them. I wonder. Ooh. That does work. That one's not growing. Might be a light level thing. I know it grows there, so. Let those guys grow up. Let's see what our next seed is that we need. Uh, donkey. Donkey seed needs a horse seed, which needs leather and an apple. We can do that. Got the love apple. Let's quickly go just get a bunch of generic seeds for quick and easy use. And I've got a piece of leather in here. So we'll put the leather, apple, and we'll get that. That's going to give us a horse seed, and then the donkey seed was a... I think it was a chest and apple. Yes, yes, it was. That gets us donkey. That should have eliminated two more off there, which uh, looks to be about what's going on. Okay, next one is the uh, mini ghast. I think that's this one, not. Okay, that needs fire chars, mycelium seed, nether quartz. Hmm. I don't have any spider eyes that I know of. Oh, I do. So what do I need for a fire charge? Uh, got blaze powder, got charcoal, I need gunpowder. I think I got some gunpowder. There's the blaze powder, and I need either coal or charcoal. And there we go. And a piece of another quartz. Nice. That one's... I didn't actually think I'd be able to get that one as quickly. So let's get uh, you laid out. That's going to give us the gasling seeds. Now those, I'm not going to be crazy enough to plant because those will wreck my day. At least right now, anyways. Let's see what's next. Uh, penguin seed? Uh, let's see here. Uh, it needs ice, which we don't have, so we can't do that one just yet. So the next one is sheep seed. Now that one I'm going to need a couple of. So it's wool, seed, and feather. Uh, looks like I'm only going to be able to make two.
but that should be enough to give me a breeding population of those. Those will actually, those will let grow in there. So next one is a skeleton seed. That's just some flint bone meal and, okay. spare bone meal kicking around out here no so in here we go actually I should just be able to do this there we go hmm you know what that's it grab that and even though I've got this sitting here it's sitting in dark it's well, it's not working. And I haven't been able to figure out why just yet. I've been all the different distances, but it's just just completely ignoring the fact that it's dark. It's not allowing anything to spawn. As far as I know, I'm still in the plains biome. You just be growing on no you've got to be on grass okay hmm keeping grass and no oh, should be able to keep grass going uh, let's see here drop that in there we'll grab our grass from here who knows maybe this will help it Just enough to finish replacing the entire run with the... Okay. Okay, so you're growing there. Do you need a light level? I guess you do need a light level. Hmm. That one's going to be tricky because I got the ender seed growing in there and it doesn't need a light level and it actually doesn't want a light level so maybe if I put a torch over on this end I can keep it in there long enough for that to grow chuck the torch up there that one's gonna be a pain to get out you still able to grow. You're only at 42%, but you should be growing. Leave that one in there and let's see what's next. Llama seed. Okay, that one needs a pig seed, bale of hay, and a white carpet. I actually got all of that. Um, just steal that pig seed. Hay bale I can get from snagging the wheat. And white carpet. Well, at least I'm getting used to the last piece of white carpet we had. Hay bale, white carpet. Pig seed, which means those are in reverse locations, so you're good. Okay, next is mushroom seed. You're of course gonna need a cow seed, which uh, I can make one of them. One wheat seed and leather. Leather seed. Let's pull those all those out. Okay. 
Okay, there's the cow seed, so I need a red mushroom and a raw beef. Got the raw beef there. Do I have any? I think they're over here. You have just been growing random stuff in here. Like, it's giving me stuff like this, which I should probably build a farm for those. Oh, well, that'll be at some point. It's going to give us some mushroom seeds. You know what? These ones are useful, so we'll go and. Oops. Nope, you can, uh, yeah. Interesting, you don't want to be planted on mycelium. Can you plant it in here? Yes, you can. Good to know. Okay, next one. So we're slowly working our way through here is which... Uh, let's see what you need. Glass uh, bottle, seed, and redstone. That's... Can I turn those into seeds? And... Enrichment chambers. Yeah... Not worth it. So I need a glass bottle, piece of redstone. Let's get uh, that stuff can go in there, and let's just grow a bunch of this stuff. Should be enough. For now, anyway. There we go. We got the witch seeds. Those can go chucked in there. Okay, next one is squid lily. Ink sack, lily pad, and water bottle. How do I get a lily pad? Uh through a hydrator, which don't actually have any, don't think I have vines. Hmm. What do I need to make, make a hydrator? Uh, clay, block iron, terracotta, dropper, and two buckets of water. I think I actually have all the material I need for that, just not fully assembled. Grab that for the two buckets of water. You can go in there and cook up. Iron. Easy enough to do. So that stuff's done. I need a dropper. It's pretty easy to do. Oh, I already had the seven I needed. Oh. Well. So we're gonna get a dropper or two chunks of clay. That get our 
two buckets of water in here. Get some jungle saplings going on here. Mm. I'm gonna put the material just to make more of those. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Just get some jungle wood. Get some torches laid on top of that just so that uh, things don't get annoying. Oops, uh, let's get torch there, torch there, chuck that there. You're good. So, you need grass, seeds, spines, and cactus. I need grass. So I could have sworn I had a pair of shears I chucked in some random chest. There we are. So we'll grab that. Uh, turn that in bone meal because I'm just too lazy to go over there. Set me up for a little bit. And let's go grab ourselves some cactus. Terracotta should be done. Which gives us our hydrator. Which, uh, well, let's move this. Put our hydrator there, because you're going to need power. I think you should be giving out power, so why aren't you? Uh, you there. Vines, or no, that's grass, vines, and seeds. And let's go grab some water and see if we can get this thing kickstarted. not working. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, you and you got the bricks, I think. Mm -hmm. 
not, I can always make a bunch of bricks. That's no big issue. I need a bunch of redstone. Weighted pressure plate. So let's get uh, you first. You need another dropper. That's half of what this game is about. It's just, oops, now I need to try to figure out some problems. So I need six. Then gave me energy cables, and then I can go dump this stuff off. Let's just get rid of some of the stuff kicking around here. And do I need to keep any of this stuff? No. Actually, you know what? Let's just go from underneath. That's one. So I can go one further down without risk of falling. Get that there. That there. And you're not getting power? Um, okay, that's potentially problematic, uh, let's pop you, now if I take you out, put you there, are you going to get power now? Needs 25 mil buckets of water to make two. So why aren't you working? You're making the FE a tick. You're building up the charge. Hmm. Uh. <clears throat> hmm. That doesn't uh, help us any. Uh. Bloodstone flux stuff, maybe? Let's just uh, dump some of this stuff off and I'll have to go through and set stuff up later. So I need a piece of glass. Do I have any glass kicking around? Yes. I need redstone and I need lead. Let's see if you're going to solve my issue. There you go. For some reason it just did not like those other pipes. That's uh 
Good thing to know. I'm running out of room. Uh, I guess I can do it. Okay. So I need cactus, vines, grass, seeds. I've got power. I've got water. You should be working. Unless I had that recipe wrong. Grass, seeds. There we go. It's actually fairly fast. Once you have it set up properly. So we can uh, grab one of those. That. And that. Dump that in there. And I think I need this to be full of water. Okay, so we actually got that done yet. Good. I'll set that there to grow. Okay, uh, let's actually go check on how this stuff is doing. Skeleton's at 28%. You're at 57%, which means you're at the, still at the light level where you can actually work properly. Thankfully, as soon as I can get some endstone, that's going to start growing f a lot faster. So, can I speed you up? Uh, yeah, it don't, looks like I can. You still there no you're not oh well. well you're gonna be the first for our sword that didn't help me much I didn't even get a drop from that guy oh so disappointed anyways let's uh, put that back okay so uh, how are you doing can I make, I got blaze powder from here? Hmm, guess I do get blaze powder. Well, still, let's uh, gather up this stuff. Start getting it marked out, and then we'll see about making ourselves some glowstone for the first time. Oak, acorn, resin, sticks. Do I have blaze powder done already? No. So I need blaze powder. Okay. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Do I have one available that's just ready to plug and play? Yes. So you can go in there. Good. Let's get our first piece of glowstone then. After we grab those. Because glowstone was one of those that was slowing us down. That's a lot of glowstone. Excellent. Okay, cobalt. We ain't getting that anytime soon. Heartache, same thing. But endstone, I believe, is just some lava, bucket of lava on a piece of glowstone. You know what, I can do that over there. Let's get our first piece of endstone here. Hmm. I guess I might have to do it a little bit differently.
trying to steal my endstone. Uh, how are you doing? 57. Hopefully this won't kill it. You know what? No, I'm just going to get rid of that. Put that in place. How much faster are you going to grow? Already that's an improvement. That is what we want. So I'm going to have to build up a chamber and build up a bunch of end stone, but that can wait a little bit. Just chuck those in there. Okay, so you are done. Let's get you set up. Get the leaves, oak. Six, acorn. So, let's see. Yeah, I got the sapling. Good. So I need... Oh, I need another filing cabinet. And you know what? I'm not going to bother going through and building one. I'll just... Uh, Just use this one. That's carrots. Make ourselves another hopping bonsai. Get us up and around. Got a chest on me, so that's good. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Get you guys stuck in there. Chuck that there temporarily and grab that piece of dirt. This is going to get a Rosmium up and running. There we go. So how many? I got four modifiers on that, four modifiers on that. And now I think it's uh, about time we start playing around with uh, making some armor. So, uh, the real question becomes, what kind of armor do I want to make? Well, I already know. Let's take a look at this armor forge. Okay, so the core plates and trim. Trim I know I'm going to want as wood. Because that's going to allow my armor to repair itself. So let's just grab a bunch of the spare wood we got kicking around and let's get that built. So that's for the trim. And I think... Uh, I know I want the core to be osmium. So let's get 
No, that's not what I wanted. Only 12. You know what? I think I got enough of that stuff that I can do it. Okay, so you're shut off. Let's just pull this out. And I want you, I want you, you, I need the boots. There we go. You're going to need four ingots. You're going to need five ingots. You're going to need six. You're going to need four. I should theoretically have, well, might as well just dump the rest of that in there and let it go. Okay, so plates, uh, bone. Uh, let's just grab a stack of that. I'm going to need four plates. The, th the reason I'm doing bone is I think it splinters and hurts them. I really got to get around to making the uh, book and figuring this stuff out properly, but, uh, um, what? Iron, obsidian, pig iron, night slime, cobalt. Artite, Manuelin, hmm. What? Chocolate leggings? Okay. Um. Oh. Let's pull this stuff out. Hmm. Iron it is. Let's see. Four. And let's, uh, yeah, let's put you in there. Transfer you to the basin. Okay, so let's see. You're five, you're six. You're four and four. Okay. get them all melted as rapidly as we can. I think I'm going to do a little bit of upgrade on tools. So let's see, how do I want to do that? Hmm, you well, know, sword blade, you know, let's actually upgrade our sword blade. I think, given I already stated that I don't know for certain, I think that one can actually use Osmium. 
No guarantees for certain, but uh, worth a shot. So, sword blade. No, you're not finished melting yet. That one in there. Since this is uh, unbreakable, might as well use whatever material I can that's going to give it the most damage. Because it's not like I'm going to have to worry about uh, it wearing out on me. Losing it on the other hand, because I accidentally fall off the go into a void or something like that. That i got to worry about. Well, I guess you're not going to let me do that. Hmm. Pity. Uh, I guess I can do iron. Let's just get a bunch of stuff upgraded. So those are each going to take two, so that's four, six. And I'll just turn the, return the rest of it in ingots afterwards. I need... Where are you? I need shovel, axe, that. Total I need eight iron and we're getting nine there, so... make ourselves our armor. Yeah, I've got diamond, but do you want to... wonder if I can actually modify that. No, guess not. Okay. Well, helmets kind of give us uh, that, that, and that. Give us armor. Our leggings. And her boots. Gotta admit, this looks badass. See? <laughs> okay. So let's dump off our iron stuff. And we're getting about roughly actually about the same armor rating as we did with our diamond set. Except uh, this stuff can upgrade. Oh, hello. So I have been losing some cactus that's popped out because it's dropping a little too far out and despawning. I'll have to redesign that. See, they're just surrounded by glass. Hmm. Now the upside, downside to upgrading your, all my tools is it's going to take iron to repair them rather than just like cobblestone or flint. And they're also going to level slower. But uh, the extra strength in them is 
well, quite frankly, it's more than worth it at this point. So let's get Stott in there. So we'll get you done. Get you upgraded. And get you upgraded. So now we're rocking full iron. Ah, glorious. Get that going. And pull this stuff out. So that stuff can sit there and percolate and run. And uh, yeah, I think one of the things I can do now, because I've got a little bit of glass here. Let's do I have a sound? Yes, I do. And we'll get you cooking up. Now I can make the quite clear glass stuff, but so I need fifteen glass aside. up another layer. See, I'm definitely going to need the rest of that glass. Still, we got uh, quite a bit of progress done. Unfortunately, no more prestige points, so we're still working on some stuff. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to go on to the whole deep mob learning and maybe figure out uh, some power gen. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to look into it. But uh, I think, yeah, no, next episode I think we'll do deep mod learning. So for now, everybody, uh, this is where we'll, uh, this is where we'll call it a day. Got quite a bit done. We've got some uh, seeds done. we got our ender pearl, which is thankfully growing, which means that those are hopefully going to keep going. I need four of those to make another one of those seeds. And I'll actually probably just turn around and build a chamber for it. Yeah, probably a smart idea. Okay. That's all done. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next episode. This is your fate, signing out.